Presidents and, and secrets and dissent. Uh, what, what are the proper bounds? You all signed um, a letter dissenting from the president's decision to revoke former CIA Director Brennan's security clearances, and I want to ask you about that letter, starting with you, General Hayden. Yeah, I mean, it's a fair question. Should people like us continue to have security clearances, given a role we have freely chosen? That's not the question. That's, that's, that's not the action. The, the, the action was punishing John and threatening uh, to punish three of the four of us on stage with losing our clearance for political speech. Admiral Rogers, um, you dissented from the dissenters. You were out of government. No, that's not what I would say. Yeah. I chose okay. not to sign a letter. Okay. Do you agree with its... <laughs> Fair enough. Do you agree with its sentiment? I agree with the fundamental premise that it is the right of every citizen to express their views. I embrace that. So a group of former senior intelligence individuals complaining about how another former senior intelligence individual is, is being treated, I'm not sure is the most effective way to achieve a very valid, address a very valid concern. When I wake up on vacation, the President of the United States says, I'm going to threaten you after you say something I don't like. That to me transcends the requirement for an intelligence offer to stay quiet. I'm going to say, no, you're not. That dog don't hunt. It's a bigger issue than my responsibility to remain loyal to the ethos of the intelligence community to say, you're not going to tell me when I can speak, when I didn't serve in the government for the past eight years. A year ago, we talked about this idea that it is the job and the mission of the intelligence community to customize the intelligence product for the customer, who is the president of the United States, whoever he or she is. But how do you customize a product for a man who, quote, doesn't believe in human sources, these are people who have sold their souls and sold out their countries. They've done so to help our country. Well, in fairness, uh, this is a comment that uh, the President-elect at the time made on exactly the 6th of January when, uh, and he didn't make it just to me, it was all of us, uh, Admiral Mike Rogers, John Brennan, there, Jim Comey. I don't mind being on TV trying to explain American espionage to the broader American public. I, I think that's a public service. But because of the current circumstances, we're put in a position when we do what it is I just described, we seem to be pretty frequently in opposition to what it is the president or one of his surrogates have just said. We're not enthused by that.